Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an oily fishing rod. Oily fishing rods are used to catch lava eels and infernal eels. And to create the oily fishing rod, what you need to do is use blemish oil on a regular fishing rod. That's pretty straightforward. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get blemish oil. And if you're wondering where to get a fishing rod, well, you can buy that at the Grand Exchange. And if you are an Iron Man and you're wondering where to buy fishing rods, you can purchase a fishing rod at the fishing shop in Port Sarum right here. So go ahead and get your fishing rod and then I will go ahead and show you how to get that blemish oil. So for the blemish oil, we're gonna need some items. First, you're gonna need a vial of water and a Harlander. Use that Harlander on the vial of water to get a Harlander potion unfinished. And then you're also going to need to have a sample bottle. Uh, that sample bottle is needed because we're going to create blemish snail oil. And then we use that blemish snail oil on that Harlander potion unfinished, which is going to give us blemish oil. To get blemish snail oil, what you need to do is use a thin, lean, or fat snail on a pestle and mortar with the sample bottle in your inventory to get that blemish snail oil. So let's go ahead and get that sample bottle for you. You can purchase this in Canifis, and I recommend starting in Canifis because you can get that sample bottle here and you can get the snail as well. So in Canifis, there is a general store to my west. Let's go ahead and make our way to that general store. And we can purchase a sample bottle for 10 GP. So go ahead and trade Fidelio and then buy a sample bottle. Next, we're going to make our way to the Mort Meyer swamps and we're going to kill a single snail, which are pretty low level. I believe they're eight HP. Uh, and then we're gonna pick up the thin snail, the fat snail or the lean snail, depending on which snail you kill. It doesn't really matter. You just need thin, lean or fat and then you use that with the pestle and mortar. So I made my way to the Mort Meyer swamps. I'm gonna go ahead and enter the swamp, open the gate, enter the swamp. And then I'm just gonna run south. What I'm gonna look for on the map is just the first yellow dot I see, cause I know that's a snail, the rest are ghosts. I'm gonna run south until I see a yellow dot. Here's one over here, I know it's a snail. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this level 10 snail. And if I don't get attacked by these gas, I should be okay. Perfect, I killed the snail. I'm gonna pick up that thin snail. And then real quick before I teleport back to Canifis or get out of this area, I wanna show you something. If you do not have the sample bottle in your inventory, let's go ahead and drop both of these two and you use the thin snail on the pestle and mortar, nothing's going to happen because you need to have that sample bottle to create the slime. So I'm gonna pick up the sample bottle again, and then I'm going to use the thin snail on the pestle and mortar. This is gonna give me that new blemish snail oil. And then I'm going to use my Harlander with my vial of water to create that Harlander potion unfinished. I'm just gonna use one of these. I have a few extra, obviously. I'm gonna use one of these blemish snail oils on that Harlander potion unfinished. It's going to create that blemish oil for me. And then I'm going to use the blemish oil on my fishing rod. Oops, don't right click it or left click it because you will drink it. You won't drink it, but your character will think about drinking it. Make sure to right click it and use blemish oil on the fishing rod. You'll rub the oil into the fishing rod and it will become an oily fishing rod. Now, for whatever reason, if you ever want to turn this back into a regular fishing rod, which I don't recommend because the steps to get it back into a normal fishing or back to an oily fishing rod are a lot. But if you ever want to turn it back into a regular fishing rod, use a cleaning cloth on the oily fishing rod and you can wipe away all the oil. And it's back to a normal fishing rod. And that is how you create an oily fishing rod in old school RuneScape. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe and I hope to see you all in future videos.